Laws of Reflection Let us do an activity. Fix a white sheet of paper on a drawing board or a table. Take a comb and close all its openings except one in the middle. You can use a strip of black paper for this purpose. Hold the comb perpendicular to the sheet of paper. Throw light from a torch through the opening of the comb from one side. With slight adjustment of the torch and the comb, you will see a ray of light along the paper on the other side of the comb. Hope your hand is steady because you have to keep the comb and the torch steady. Now place a strip of plain mirror in the path of the light ray. What do you observe? After striking the mirror, the ray of light is reflected in another direction. The light ray which strikes any surface is called the incident ray. The ray that comes back from the surface after reflection is known as the reflected ray. Now draw lines showing the position of the plane mirror, the incident ray and the reflected ray on the paper with the help of your friends. Remove the mirror and the comb. Draw a line making an angle of 90 degrees to the line representing the mirror at the point where the incident ray strikes the mirror. This line is known as the normal to the reflecting surface at that point. The angle between the normal and incident ray is called the angle of incidence or you can call it I. The angle between the normal and the reflected ray is known as the angle of reflection or R. Measure the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. It is seen that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. And this is known as the law of reflection.